Hey everyone and welcome to another exciting video. So this is part 4 of our Angular new feature discussion and today we are here to talk about linked signal in Angular. So if you are new to here or miss the previous part then make sure you have a basic understanding of signals and computed signal which was covered in the part 1 of this series. So you can find that video in the playlist linked below which I will be putting it up and here you can see we have all the part 1, part 2, part 3 video already uploaded. So now let's dive into the linked signal and see what's so exciting about it. So now now this new linked signal was part of the angular version 19 update which has already bring the numerous enhancement and new feature to this framework. So the one standout addition in this release is the linked signal. So it's a new primitive that designed to manage reactive state in angular application. So you guys must be already aware that reactive programming in angular relies heavily on signals to create manage and synchronize the state. While this existing primitive like uh, signals and computed signal, right, they are powerful, but there are some certain limitations. Like for example, when we create a signal, right, so these are writable, but it actually lacks the ability to reset or recompute itself based on another signal. And to cover that part of signal, we have something called as computed signal. But the problem with this computed signal is that this is only a signal which you cannot write, which means it only automatically recalculates its value based on the source signal but is read only which makes it unsuitable for the scenarios where the manual updates is required. So now what I see there are two problems with this. So first thing right we want to have something where we can implement a reset pattern and another one will be the managing state that needs to stay synchronized with dynamic data. Like for example if a signal derives its value from another source signal and any attempt to manually update it will definitely break the reactive link which leads to the inconsistencies and that problem now can be solved with this new linked signal it is basically a bridge between those two gaps what we have right between signal and computed okay if i uh, if i tell you about in a very simple term this linked signal is nothing but a computed signal uh, which can be a writable so for example if i have this as a computed and if i go and change it to linked signal Okay, so can you see I added a linked signal and this is in already imported from angular slash core which is this and now if I hover on this double count so can you see now this became writable signal and if it is a writable which means you can make use of dot set and dot update. Let's take a quick example over here right so now we have a count we have a double and what I want to do right I want to have a one more button called as update or something maybe update double. And what we will do right so for example if i have a count as four and if i say double if i click on that button so this should make count into 10 okay uh, i know this is just a random example but just to show you like how that actually works so now what i'll do here so first thing i have already made this as a linked signal which is good now what i'll do i'll take this button and let me create one more new here and this will change to update and here i'll make change to uh, into 10 Okay, and this update I just need to call it in the bottom somewhere. Yes. So this is my update and what I want to do with update. This will just say this dot double count. Okay, whatever you have the double count and suppose you don't want to uh, make use of the existing one. So what you can do you can just say this dot count into 10. So whatever your count will be it will just make the double into 10. That's it. So for example, here if I have the count as three. So if I click on the into 10, so this will make this as 30. So now we are able to do that. So if I click on this, can you see now this became 30. Again, if I go on increments, can you see it got reset again because now it is updating based on what you have already added on the linked signal. So if I again click on this, so this will become 40. Again, if I click it resets and it is, this makes to 10 based on what we have already defined. And if I again click on this, this makes it 50. So which means that if you want to achieve this reactivity where you can actually update your computed signal as well. So that can be achieved now with this linked signal. Okay. Now I know this, this was a very basic and easy example. Now let me take one another example, which I have prepared. Uh, if I go on the products, maybe I have the products route here. So here you can see now I have a single product and over here I can set a price from here. I can also have price setting from here as well, which I can select. And based on that, it helps me to calculate the discounted price. And it also helps me like how much money I have saved. Okay. Now what I want to do, right? I want to uh, make use of a list of products. So currently this is only one. So I want to have a multiple product. So this is how the code looks like. So here we have a signal with a single product here and based on that we have a computed and this computed what it does. So whenever 
the product is changing right so it takes this product thing and it will just go and fetches the discounted price it just recalculates based on whenever there is change in the product and that change happens when when we update the original price of the product so can you see here we are trying to update the product price from here and whenever anything gets update in this product so this gets recalculate so the recalculation actually happens and this calculates the discount price for us which is a read only and this is what it is getting updated in the template as well okay so this is what my discounted price looks like right now as i told you i want to update this into a multiple product so let's go ahead and do that so i have already example here so let me just go ahead and paste it so here can you see now i have made my signal from object now it is an array of object where i have four products here okay now there are a lot of things which might break here can you see now things are breaking because this is not a single product this is now array of products right so now let me save the changes and now what i want to do right so whenever uh, i refresh the page i want a default product to be selected right so for that i will go ahead and create a new property here which is going to be my selected product right okay so this is my selected product and what i can do right i can make use of linked signal to do it so if i don't use link signal so what i i will do i'll go use and compute it okay for example you can make use of computer to do that so what i am saying that hey create a selected product based on the first value of my product so this is nothing but my default product which is selected okay now i want to go and change it everywhere so this product will change now to selected product and i need to do the template update accordingly so everything now will change to a selected product let me change it over here in the bottom as well so this will also change to selected product okay and now if i save all the changes let's go back and can you see now we have a awesome product as my first and everything is working fine so if i go ahead and i want to make the last one as my default so i can do that so if i click on three uh can you see now it has changed to awesome product which is this maybe i can change this to average because i already have an awesome product so save the changes can you see it became average if i want to make this another product then i have to go and change this to one and see now it has changed to another product so this was this is what we have as a base template at the moment now as we have a multiple product so we have to go and create a drop down so let's go here and create a selector over here so we have this container so just below this we will create a div and inside the div we will have a code there so let me make use of ai maybe ai can help me to do that yes somewhat it has given me the same code what i was looking for which is good okay uh, i don't require this so let me remove this for now okay and what i want to do i want to select the value as product dot name okay and this will say on product change i want to share the event okay so whenever the drop down value changes this is what i want to do so let's me take this and just go in the bottom and use this event okay so now can you see now the problem is right so whenever the value i want to change from the drop down okay let me first show you how the drop down looks like and then maybe i can do this update right let me change or remove this for now okay and save all the changes so can you see now we have this is what i was talking about so i have an awesome product so i can select another average or best but can you see there is no changes happening over here right because i have made use of computed right so now that's what i was actually trying to do so if i have this on product change i cannot make use of set so now you guys know right if I, if you want to make use of set and update you should go and change your computed to linked signal so if i change this to linked signal if i save it so now can you see now i'm able to do the set correct but now this event is going to be nothing but the name so this is going to be a string okay maybe i can keep this as any for now because i don't want to get into the typescript uh, all those errors and issues so now i know that what i am trying to pass if you take a look at what we get in the console okay let me just go and show it to you so if i go here if i select any product can you see i should be able to get the name of the product so can you see i get best product if i change to average i get average product if i change to awesome i get awesome product okay so now what i want to do i want to just try to find so i'll say const product okay i can say this dot product dot find if the name matches with the value yes if the name matches then please go ahead and set it okay please go ahead and set the selected product to the match product if i save the changes now if i go back now if i select any product so it should go ahead and change it so currently it's not changing so we will take a look why can you see okay the only problem is the name 
over here on the top so we have to go and fix that so let's go and fix it okay so this is what the issue could be so we don't need this value for now because yeah we are getting the value from the event itself so we can remove that and now if i go and change can you see now i'm getting the best product getting the average product and all of this information right and now also if you take a look right so if i change this see now i'm trying to update the value see i'm trying to update the value but this update is not working can you see now we have something called as this so we have this update the price so now what you need to do you don't have to update the product here you have to update the selected product here and now you can make use of update when when the signal is writable and how you can make it writable if you make it as a linked signal so can you see now if i change this to selected product if i save the changes now if i change this to best product and if i want to update the price can you see everything changes now and everything seems to be synchronized and this is what the power of linked signal is okay which means again i don't want to confuse you guys it's very simple it is just like a computed signal but it has some additional power of doing set and update okay which also calls to be as a writable signal and that's all so that's it from this today's video where we have learned about what is this new linked signal in angular so if you are excited about angular's linked signal so make sure you try it out and let me know your thoughts in the comments also stay tuned for the part 5 of this series where we will explore even more features which has came already in angular version 19 so thanks for watching and don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update so see you guys in the next video till then bye bye and keep learning guys